Hey there guys, uh, just doing a really, really quick unboxing video here. I hope to be really quick anyway, because i got to go to work here soon. So, uh, this is something I just got today. Uh, was sent to me by Dale, Brew By Me. Uh, really awesome dude. Uh, he just sent me this humongous friggin' beer mail. Uh, one, two, three, six, nine beers in it. And um, it was two boxes. It had this box here on the bottom. And then it had this box right here stacked on top of it, and it was all taped together and everything. Like, wow, just like some big, serious package. Like, he must have spent an arm and a leg and then that. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, almost everything he sent here is uh, from Bose Brewery in, uh, in Ontario, uh, one of my favorite breweries. And basically thanks to Dale, because uh, he's been sending me stuff from Bose since we started doing uh, beer mails and beer trades. So... Um, and this is all like uh, specialties from Bose, so we'll start right here. Uh, Uso du Nuit Pumpkin Gruet. That's probably one of their. Uh, and oh, it's brew. It's brewed in uh, collab with Elysian Brewing, apparently. And this is part of their Wild Oats series, number 29, 5.1%. Cool. Here's one I really wanted to try. <laughs> Isn't that the best label ever? The Bog Father, man. Imperial Gruet. Apparently this is just totally awesome. From uh, the review Rhino's crew gave it, uh, I'm really excited. 8.5% alcohol by volume. Number 8 in their Wild Oat series. Next we have Octobach. Strong beer, 7.0% alcohol by volume. Number 24 in their Wild Oats series. Just great labels. Great, great labels. Alright. Here's one I actually asked for. Uh, Mutineer Imperial Pilsner. Number 6 in their Pro-Am series. I can't remember what the Pro-Am series was. Cabba Cabba Hay, 8.0% Imperial Pilsner. I'm interested in seeing how that turns out. Here's a cool one. I'm surprised I didn't get sued for making this one. Uh, Dark Helmet with omelots over the U. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Um, Imperial Schwartz beer, so a black lager, Imperial Black Lager, 7.3% alcohol by volume. Here's one of a curling rink. Top down look at the uh, circle and a curling rink. Uh, burnt Rock Vanilla Porter, spiced beer, 4.9% alcohol by volume. Members of Barley Mint Homebrew Competition, Pro Am. Oh, I think that's what that Pro Am series was. It was like uh, from a homebrew competition or something like that. Number five in that series. Very cool. Here's one I wanted to try. Um, it broke in a previous beer mail I got. Uh, so he replaced it. He was nice enough to send me another one. That's really awesome of you, Dale. I appreciate that. Mates with Dates. Uh, and this one was a... What was it again? Uh, strong Beer. Collaborative with Bose and All Beer. It says here somewhere what it was. Oh, it's it's got dates in it. Uh, oh, it's a, I believe it's a Trappist. Beer of some sort. Yeah, Trappist. Damn it. Um, probably looking right at it. No, it's not collaborative beer made of dates. I have to look that up. I believe that's a Trappist beer. A uh, double or a quadruple, something like that. All right. Here's Wag the Wolf. Hoffen Weiss. Hoffen Weiss. Strong beer, Wild Oats series number 31. All right, and this one here was not from Bose. This is from uh, Brasse par Michael Brasse Le Grimoire, for, so I guess the Grimoire Brewery. Some something out of Montreal. I've never heard of these guys before. Um. This is their Dezab. Dezareb? Dezab? Dezareb? What is it supposed to be? 
Uh, I don't know. I have to look that one up too, I guess. It's all in French, so. And, uh, <laughs> funny here, for a minute I thought Dale had totally lost his mind and had sent me whiskey. <laughs> uh, I would have to have gone to Ontario and slapped him very, very hard. Uh, for a minute there I thought he'd shelled out money and sent me whiskey. He, he sent, he just sent two of these in, uh, in this whiskey box, uh, McKellen's Isla Single Malt, which sounds very good. I've never had that, actually. And he had a tube as well. <laughs> For a minute there, I, I just was a, oh my god, did he just send me scotch? I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to straighten him out. But no, he didn't. Um, so, very, very cool. Uh, Really, really thanks. Uh, big thanks to Dale. I don't know when I'm going to get into these. I'm going to try to do at least one or two of them on Wednesday. I'm working a lot the next two weeks, so um, hopefully maybe a couple on Wednesday and some maybe a couple on Friday. And I'm going to try to do some uh, perhaps during the Canada Day holidays. Uh, not sure when I'll have these uploaded, of course. It, it might be a week or so down the road or more before you start seeing these, but, uh, which is, which is good, though. I'm all out of, uh, new videos to put up anyway, so, uh, these just came at the perfect time. So, uh, yeah, big thanks to Dale. Uh, we'll see you all guys later. I hope you're looking forward to seeing these, because I'm looking forward to doing them. So, uh, yeah, guys. Bye-bye.